It's come to my attention, not all of y'all know that I have a cat named Tulip, so let me have her as my introduction this time. No singing bowl, but hey girl. Hello my beautiful Pisces, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in the in today's reading, Pisces, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards resonate with you and how they do, darling, because that is how I keep up with y'all through the comments. And also, uh, I'm going to call you Scorpio Pisces. Also Pisces, if you do enjoy this tarot reading today and you can happen to find it in your heart to forgive me for almost calling you Scorpio, I would appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe or if you enjoy my vibe then that's all i would appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe uh pisces because it does help me out a lot and i always am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way but remember pisces to use your intuition when it comes to receiving this reading today because put it in perspective i'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you you know your situation better than i ever possibly could darling so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't i believe the cards are just here pisces to give you some food for thought a perspective for you to consider honey but never making the choices in your life because it's your life to live not mine and not these tarot cards Pisces. and that being finally said honey let's get into your weekly tarot horoscope reading today so pisces i pulled an oracle angel oracle card for you guys to see where the you know get a theme of what's going on for you guys this week pisces um and so the card that came forward for you guys was azrael now, some of you guys may already know that this is a card. This is the angel that is signifies like the angel of death, the card that helps make transition with things, uh, Pisces. And also, I wanted to point out, I normally don't do this, honey, but um, you guys have the new moon and Aquarius card stepping forward as well that tried to come out while I was moving the deck. And so uh, this card says, bring love into the situation. So there is very like a uh, ominous message when you think about it in some ways uh pisces of how it's like you get the angel of death over here and then it's just like um bringing love into the situation under the new moon rep which represents a new beginning on something right so what's going on here is that are you uh pisces losing somebody in your life and when i say losing somebody tulip's trying to come be part of this reading but so when i say are you losing someone in your life are you having to cut ends with somebody pisces what is going on with you this week it's uh, has you in such a moody state but not moody in like a bad way it just seems like you're dealing with a lot of heavy emotions this week pisces so let's see we have these six of cups in the reverse stepping forward for you so this is naturally pisces still bringing up about like something with like a deep connection that you've had a history with it does show to me that something's kind of up with somebody in your life that you kind of usually hold in pretty high regard Tulip's like making me nervous, y'all, because she's trying to just like <laughs> make yourself comfortable right next to my laptop. Um, so Six of Cups coming in here lets me know this message of where I wouldn't be surprised if this is in terms of like a relationship or like a best friend, or, like a family member, a sibling or something, Pisces, because that shows like that's kind of like the level of like intense, intimate energy that this would be in. So I'm seeing the number two. Let's pull two cards. We have the Three of Cups and the Page of Wands. Okay, yeah. This is kind of signifying to me, Pisces, a situation of where this is confirming to me it's about like a person or persons. Um, Page of Wands does represent something kind of signifying this sense here. Um, still, Pisces, on... It just it does feel like the ending of something the ending of something but naturally goes into that corny message the ending of something to begin something anew right so maybe you know i feel like that's i don't really feel like getting too much even into that right because it could just be so various for all of you pisces right it could be starting fresh with the current connection maybe you some of you guys are going back to an old connection someone that you actually at one point held really closely and something happened and y'all are now like reconnecting from a new place hopefully that you guys are coming from a more mature and less toxic place if it was toxic from before and trying to be in a more developed state um 
it just it does feel like if it's yeah it's like almost this chance of if it's more positive optimistic thinking rather something that was kind of not working coming at it from a new approach in the name of trying to make this work out right because if this was in the reverse right this page of wants being in the reverse that's when i was just be like oh, okay like um this is kind of like checked out and over with but with the page of wants in this dynamic this shows to me pisces this sense of where it's like yeah you have like all these like closing closing cards but then you have the page of wands representing that fresh start right or it could just be a fresh start and like allowing yourself into new connections right let's get a closing card for it though pisces we have the eight of pentacles so this is a place of wherever like wherever the situation is it's a learning one whether um you guys are coming at this from a place uh pisces where both sides are learning like maturing and learning where they could improve or whether this is like you learning from this behavior from this connection over here and you learn how you're going to carry yourself and handle future connections how you're going to handle future workplace environments future jobs right um whatever the case may be i do see an up level of some sort with the eight of pentacles so what does that up level look like for you pisces is this like an up level where you're kind of just like oh, okay i don't I, you're seeing something as a red flag and you're like you know what i don't want to be messing with that kind of energy those kind of vibes with my future connections or is this a place of where it's like you came from this place i came from this place so let's learn from our mistakes and let's start fresh right what is it coming from so now pisces let's get into what's going on in terms of like the messages your spirit guides have for you honey so this is i always say the part where you don't have a thick skin pisces like this is not the portion for you because this is where it's like your spirit guides are going to get across what they need to get across your feelings be to the side right because this is in the name of progression and growth and development right sometimes some feelings have to be hurt and if you're not ready to hear those types of messages darling that's fine that's understandable I won't think any less of you, honey. But let's get into it. We have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So some of you guys, Pisces, y'all are not taking care of yourselves. Y'all aren't, and whether this is energetically and like the people that you're around or like the energies that you're around just are not very good for you. Whether this is like you, Pisces, not, um, how would we say doing the appropriately you know maybe you've like neglected on working out maybe you haven't gone outside when's the last time you've gone outside and just been in nature or just soaked in some <laughs> some of the sun's rays honey right when like what's going on here that you're not it's almost like this sense of like sabotaging yourself in some way i'm seeing the number three let's see we have the four of swords in the reverse three of wands in the reverse and seven of cups in the upright so pisces you guys, it's almost like the sense here, like some of you guys are not learning from your mistakes with something, right? And I'm going to try my best to keep it separate from the angel, the death, as real messages that spread over there, darling, right? Because I'm going to give you guys the benefit of the doubt. This could be compl something completely unrelated, right? But because of this four swords and this three of wands in the reverse, this is like the like textbook Pisces, a situation of where I'm seeing an individual who's choosing to just stay blind to a situation. So I like to speak in analogies better and what better way to use just myself as an example. So this is not a case whatsoever, but it'd be like me, Pisces, going to you and I'm being, and I'm just like friend. Like, I feel like tarot just isn't for me. I feel like I should just give up on it. I feel like I shouldn't do this, right? You know, um, it just it isn't working out for me, I don't think, right? I think I should consider my other options as the three, seven of cups, right? And then Pisces, naturally, you're going to be like, Velka, what's going on? Why are you feeling insecure? What's going on internally that has you in this place of not seeing yourself from a high enough level for a sword, right? Inverted. Why are you ignoring the signs of your YouTube channel, like having people who see your videos why are you ignoring the obvious signs that this is actually meant for you right why are you considering those decisions um different decisions three of wands inverted you're ignoring the obvious signs pisces of where it is you need to go so what's going on for you internally pisces that has you just in this place that's just not you know what's going on darling we'll close this off though king of cups so this is a matter of your emotions honey do you have your emotions in order are you trying to consider if this is involving other energies uh pisces are you considering the are you trying to overcompensate for other people's emotions or trying to um base your decisions off of like other people's emotional well-being where you start neglecting your own 
right? There is this sense of like, someone needs to be a little bit more rational um, and just have like a better grip with themselves emotionally. It feels almost as if like, if this is about yourself, Pisces, I'm petting my cat if you're wondering, <laughs> if this is about yourself, then I feel like we need to have a little bit of a look, Pisces, into why you're not seeing yourself She's shutting, honey, in a more truer light, right? Why are you so self-deprecating? Why are you so hard on yourself? So now, Pisces, let's get into uh, what are the good things that are in the works for you, right? What are the good things in the works for you this week? Let's get into that. What good things are coming for my Pisces this week? Let's see here. Six of Wands, come on now. This is this is the card, literally, uh, Pisces. Oh, this cat for now. <laughs> uh, success. This is the card of things, um, spotlight as well, being noticed. If you are on a public platform in any way or trying to have your stuff be seen, Pisces, this is a really good uh, week of things starting to ramp up, right? So this is now I'm going to be referencing back again your card of three of wands being inverted pisces right where that one where it's like you're ignoring the signs so if you don't ignore the signs pisces and you lean into it deeper right this is what happens that six of wands that victory all right i'm seeing the number two let's pull two this is king of swords seven of pentacles inverted so some of you pisces are trying to just rip something up and be over with it right but here's the thing, I feel as if King of Swords comes in as this message, this is kind of similar to the King of Cups as well, where you have a better control of your like your mindset or just a better control of what's going on up here. Does that make sense? And I'm not trying to imply, Pisces, that you're unstable or whatever, right? I mean, I feel like we all can just have a better grasp on our like selves mentally and just having a better self-awareness and perception of ourselves, right? Um, through this better perception that you have of yourself and just better control of your thoughts and feelings and all of that, Seven of Pentacles comes in as this uprooting. Now, is this a sense of where you're catching yourself in the action, Pisces? Like, are you, like, once you have a better headspace, then this is where my question is, where it's like, all right, where you already uprooting things and now you're learning to stop now that you have better control, Pisces? Or is this a situation of where you're realizing that you need to uproot? So let's see here. And scene two. It's five of wands inverted with the eight of cups coming in here. So I'm getting this sense here where almost like Pisces, some of you guys have just been in survival mode probably for a long time now. So you've been doing things based off of survival mode rather than doing things based off of like what feels good to you, right? Eight of cups comes in here where it's like you're going out to bigger and better water. So it does feel as if like you're needing to uproot from your current situation um, and move on, right? Um, kind of in the sense almost i feel like avoiding the five of wands conflict and that's why it's inverted for you so it's almost like i, I keep on referencing now i you know remembering from earlier pisces where i was just like all right like are my pisces like caring about the emotions of others and that's why now they don't want to move on right that's what's been keeping you you holding your own self back now pisces what's going on for y'all what is holding you back right and that's really my question to you, Pisces. All right now, Pisces, let's get into your social and romantic situation this week. This could be with your co-workers, this could be family, darling, relationships. This could be anything. You know your situation better, honey. Let's see what's going on. We have a full moon in Aries, a fiery climax approaches. This is what I'm not surprised by, really, right? Especially with the, uh, your general portion of your reading, Pisces, where we were talking about the angel of death and kind of moving it on and all this. It does feel as if like the actions that you probably are going to be taking this week, Pisces, is going to come into kind of force like a climax, force an uncomfortable conversation, some confrontation, probably, uh, Pisces. But let's get into this a little bit deeper, right? What is this fiery climax? Let's see these three cards try to come out. The Emperor card, the Justice card in the reverse, and then the Star card. Okay, baby. Yeah. So this is who you are right now, Pisces, is the Emperor. This is you being proactive about your own life, going after and trying to create whatever it is that you're trying to create in your life. But you're putting yourself first, essentially, as the Emperor. That's what the Emperor does, right? Very much so about action, very much so confrontational. Um for what it is that they are feeling inside they were are honoring themselves they're more about action um 
it's kind of like a card, uh, Pisces, where and normally, like, trust me, Pisces, I'm a Libra Scorpio cusp, honey, so it's like, I'm all about weighing out things to death and overanalyzing, honey. But this is kind of like a act first and think about it later, Pisces, right? And especially I know with y'all, this is kind of like a paralysis by overanalysis kind of situation for you guys, Pisces, and especially when it comes to the emotions of the emotional matters of others. But you kind of have to just take charge, Pisces, and, you know, because I feel like this is the imbalance for you, Justice card in the reverse. I feel like you're not honoring yourself enough. The star card going after what it is that you want to go after. Because here's the thing, Pisces. I feel like some of y'all need to hear this message and be reminded that no one's going to go after your dreams for you. And I know naturally a lot of you Pisces are going to be like, well, obviously, right? But no, think about this deeper, right? And this is usually for my people who are very much so people pleasers, Pisces, right? You'll please so many other people because you'll think so highly of them. You'll give them the benefit of the doubt. You will uplift them because you just see them as such beautiful people because they are Pisces. Everyone's beautiful. But, you know, naturally you'll think, a lot of people will think, it's like, oh, well, maybe if I help them out with all this stuff, maybe they'll help me out with my stuff as well. No, it's not necessarily the case, honey. Well, it's nice, it's the ideal, darling, for us to hope that people in our lives would just pay it, pay it forward, pay it back, or what have you, right? And all of us are just trying to uplift one another effortlessly without having to ask, right? It's kind of the message of closed mouths don't get fed. Sometimes you have to ask people to help you out, right? Some, sometimes you have to put yourself first because other people are not going to prioritize going after your star because they're so busy going after their star. It says not, I mean, I mean, it does so it says something about them Pisces and says they're just, they're just, that they are just human and they're just prioritizing themselves right um and I'm not saying you can't help out other people Pisces of course that's not what I'm saying but keep in mind that you I feel like some of you guys need the reminder that the only ones that are going to bring you closer to your goal is you now you could be using your resources better right don't expect people to just offer but you know I hope I get, I, I hope I make sense of this, right? Uh, the Wheel of Fortune card coming in to close off this energy. Yeah, Pisces. So in terms of your social situation, you are in control, darling, right? You are in control. I feel like you need to uh, put yourself out there more. Consider your resources more. Um, put yourself first when it comes to your connections. And sometimes you putting yourself first may involve you distancing yourself from others. But sometimes putting yourself first means that you're not afraid of asking for help and asking for someone to pay it forward in some way, right? Don't expect people to just offer it. Well, it'd be nice, honey, it's just not realistic. All right now, Pisces, let's get into your career and financial situation this week. Let's see what's in the works uh, for that this week for you, Pisces. Let's see what's going on there, darling. Let's see what's going on for my Pisces financial situation. Third quarter moon, adjustments are required. All right, Pisces, so there does need to be some editing this week from you guys on your part. What does that editing look like? What are you guys up to right now, Pisces? All right, let's see what if we can get any clarifiers. Starting this out, darling, we have the five of cups in the reverse. So a lot of you guys are um, being resistant of being malleable. Pisces. It does feel like a lot of you guys are stuck on a specific way or storyline for things to play out and, and you guys are not being malleable. Let's pull some more. This Knight of Swords inverted, the Ten of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Y'all aren't trusting your intuition more. <laughs> Y'all aren't trusting your intuition. Y'all aren't trusting your own capabilities, right? And that's your direct sabotage, Pisces, right? That's what your issue is. Like, that's the adjustment that needs to happen. You need to have faith in yourself more, Pisces. Whatever it is, there's something that you're just downplaying yourself on and just, like, it's almost like you just think anything that you touch is just going to fail, right? And it just feels like you have all these great ideas. You have a good mind for something, Pisces, but you're just not honoring it more. So it's just like, what's going on here, honey? Why are you not doing this? Why do you? Why are you doubting yourself, right? The Knight of Swords is the card of usually it's like the fastest moving card, right? But that's the caveat. Being the fastest, you also are the most easily, like it's the easiest to be the influence mentally and getting in your head and going backwards. And that's why this is in the reverse for you, Pisces. Ten of Pentacles talks about just overall stability, though, overall abundance right that's like getting to the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow darling right so that's what you're running away from essentially through you not 
trusting in your intuition and getting into the high priestess card this lets me know you have good thoughts going in here honey queen of wands but it like maybe that's the idea of what scares you and why it stops you from you fully going after this because the queen of wands is the card of leaving the nest right in the name of your passion right in the name of that passion that you have to be the one to honor and celebrate it yourself right you can't be embarrassed or too shy about flaunting it or having it shine pisces you have to just you know just do it put yourself out there really that's the adjustments that are required for you pisces um let's get into now before we close out this weekly tarot horoscope for you today pisces let's get into uh your quote card your positive affirmation that you'll take for the rest of this week let's see because y'all know i love my quotes honey uh this card says the key to prayer is to forget what i think i need now pisces what was i just saying before like some of you guys were just so stuck on a narrative on how something needed to be and that's where the adjustments need to be are need to happen where it's like you have to kind of accept pisces that some adjustments need to happen I read again. Read it again, honey. The key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. So, you know, <laughs> what does this mean, really? You can, instead of asking spirit Pisces to be like, oh, can you just help me meet this X, Y, and Z person? So that's going to be how I take off. Instead, just be like, I want, you can ask spirit and be like, hey, like, I want to be seen by people. I want my art to be noticed. Don't have it attached to anything. Just ask for the sense of being like, I really want to have the opportunity to put my art out there, right? Be more malleable, Pisces. Be more malleable. And I feel like you'd be really pleasantly surprised by what would occur when you ask change things change what it how it is that you're asking things pisces my goodness but um yeah that is the weekly tarot reading that i have for you this week today pisces i hope you found some cards that resonate with you let me know in the comments below be sure to give this video a like and subscribe pisces as well and if you'd like to book a personal reading with me my website is down below it's just simply velka.com among it's also next to my social medias tiktok twitter instagram it's all just simply velka um i love you so much pisces i really appreciate the opportunity of giving this reading to you today i don't take it for granted and uh yeah if you have a friend that's into zodiac readings or tarot readings at all send them their zodiac video and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them as well but until next time pisces hopefully i can see you in the future i love you so much